Butterflies actually make chrysalises, which is a naked pupa, and a cocoon is actually a sac around a pupa that protects it. So um, the pupal stage, or the third stage in the life history of any complete metamorphosis, in butterflies it's called a chrysalis. Uh, chrysalis is, uh, every kind of butterfly has a different looking chrysalis and every species has a different looking chrysalis. Uh, swallowtails typically will make a chrysalis that will hang sideways and will have a lasso around it kind of holding it up, kind of like a lasso or a seatbelt. A lot of brush-footed butterflies will make a chrysalis that will hang upside down from a little uh, peg on the tip of it. Um, it's called a cremaster and that'll be on a little pad of silk under a leaf or under a branch. A lot of butterflies spend the winter as a chrysalis, and those chrysalises will look like a dried up piece of wood, and it will blend in with what you'd normally see in the winter time. Um, chrysalises can vary from gold to green to brown. So swallowtails typically will have a long, elongated chrysalis that's pointed at the tip. Monarchs, as a lot of people are probably familiar with, have a green shiny chrysalis that looks like a uh, piece of jewelry. Um, uh, cabbage butterflies have little green chrysalises that are under the leaves. Pretty much most butterflies make the chrysalises around their host plant, so if you find a chrysalis on a certain plant that a butterfly would feed on, chances are it's that species of butterfly. Cocoons will be found for moths and or will be found in trees and they'll be wrapped up in leaves or there'll be a little ball of silk or sometimes they bury under the ground and make a pupa underneath the ground which is almost like a chamber that's got a cocoon holding the soil off of it.